Hello student, once again welcome to Onus classes. Dear student, due to natural calamities, your exam has just temporarily postponed, not cancelled. So please don't take it lightly. So today I am going to discuss the most expected questions of botany, which is important for your coming exam. So start the video. So first question, first question in, in the biology paper, today I'm going to discuss the only the botany section and tomorrow I'm going to upload the important questions for the uh, geology section. So in botany section, first few question, you will get a one mark question and that for that one mark question, I have given you some important questions and these questions I have find out by analyzing the last 12 years question paper. And within bracket, I have just mentioned the yeah, when this question was last came, since these questions are came repeated in many years, but within bracket, I have just mentioned the last year when it has came. So go for the first question. What is herbarium? A herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens and associated data used for scientific use. This question was last came in 2020. Next, who discovered the plant cell? So answer is Robert Hooke in 1665. Where the chlorophyll present in chloroplast? This was last came into, though it is came, it has came in many years, but last it came in 2021. And since in 21 and 20, exam was not taken. That's why this time most census is that that question may come this year. So where the chloroplast is present, it present in the thylakoid membrane of chloroplast. Then what is stomata? It is a pore found in epidermis of leaves, stems, and another organs that controls the rate of gas exchange. The pore is bordered by a pair of specialized parenchyma cells known as GERD cells that are responsible for regulating the size of the stomata. Next question, who proposed the five kingdom concept in living world? Came in 2021, answer is this one. Then name the cell organelles which has no cell membrane. So only one organ is asked in question, but in this time question paper, it may be two or three organ also there. So if like this question will come, use this right name of one organ, but here I am giving you three for names. Suppose the liposome, uh, cytos, culton, structure, centrioles, etc. So, but if question, carry only one mark, you just write one organ. Suppose you, you can write just ribosome. Next, who proposed binomial nomenclature? This question has came in 2021 plus 19. The binomial nomenclature was introduced by Carlos Linnaeus, who discovered plant nucleus. In 1831, it was um, discovered by a Scottish botanist, Robert Brown, defined species. So a group of organisms that consist similar individual capable of interbreeding among themselves and reproduce fertile offsprings. It is a fundamental taxonomic unit. Then exosmosis of a plant cell takes place where hypotonic solution. Next come for the two mark question. After one mark question for the second question, you will get some two mark question. So for two mark, these are the important questions. What are the significance of meiosis? Meiosis is responsible for the formation of sex cells or gametes that are responsible for sexual reproduction. It activates the genetic information for the development of sex cells and deactivate the sporophytic information. It maintains the constant number of chromosomes by having the same. What is cell theory? All living organisms are made up of cells that they are the basic structural and organizational unit of cell organisms and that all cells comes from the pre-existing cell. Here, this question also came in 2021 also. I have forgotten to write here. So this question repeated continuously two times. <laughs> What is the macro and micronutrient? This was repeated in 18 and 21 in last years. So macronutrients are the nutrients of your body needs in larger amount, namely carbohydrate, protein, and fat, and they provide your body with energy or calories. And micronutrients are the nutrients your body needs in the smaller amount, which are commonly referred to as vitamins and minerals. Next, 
differentiate between micro and macronutrients with examples. This also came in 2022. And from the uh, video of 2020, you get this answer. I had already uploaded. And student, don't forget this macro and micronutrient. This question is from zoology section. This answer should be in zoology section for 13. But 14, if question means micro and macronutrient question may come both in botany section and zoology section. If it came in zoology section, you have to write this answer. And if it come in botany section, then you have to go for answer. You go through the video of 2020-20. I have already uploaded. So don't confuse. If question come in zoology section, answer will be different. If it come in botany section, the answer will be different. But question may be same. Next, active transport and passive transport. Answer you will get in the video of 2020. Already I have uploaded. So draw and label different tissue. Reveal under the transverse section. Sorry, this should be transverse section. Spelling mistake is that of the dorsiventral leaf. It came continuously repeated two times, 20 and 21. So this is the diagram. This is the upper epidermis. This is the lower epidermis. And in the lower epidermis, there are some pole-like structures which are known as stoma. And they are uh, covered by some kidney shaped cell which are known as guard cell. And this pore is known as stomatal pore. And outside of the upper epidermis, there is a covering which is known as cuticle. Then below the upper epidermis, there are some long elongated cells that are called palisade parenchyma. And be, after the layer of palisade parenchyma, there are some cells which has lots of intercellular spaces, which are known as spongy parenchyma. And this palisade parenchyma and spongy parenchyma together are known as mesophyll cell. And here the xylem and phloem are present. So this uh, pink color are xylem and this uh, purple color is phloem. So this is the structure of the dorsiventral side of, of a dorsiventral leaf. What is Kranz anatomy? Two different concentric layer of chloronchyma cells formed by bundle sheet containing most of the chloroplasts surrounded by an outer layer consisting of a small number of mesophyll cells. And this is a characteristic of C4 plan. So this is the structure of Kranz anatomy. And this question is very, very important. Why lysosome is called suicidal bag of cells? This question was last repeated in 2021 and previously it also came in 2016 and 15. And this question is very important for this time. Lysosomes are called suicidal bag of cells. They contain hydrolytic enzyme. If the cells is damaged, the lysosome undergo, <coughs> sorry, autolysis and brushed open. This results in the release of those hydrolytic enzyme and the release enzyme then digest their own cell and ultimately the cell dies, hence they are called suicidal bags of cells. Next, explain the diagram and structure of a cell wall continuously repeated 20 and 21. Previously also repeated, but in 20 and 21, it was continuously repeated. A cell wall is a rigid semi-permeable protective layer. The outer covering is positioned next the cell membrane. Means it present the next the cell membrane in most of the plant cell, fungi, bacteria, and algae. The animal cells, however, don't have a cell wall. The cell wall has many important functions in a cell, including protection, structure, and support. Means it gives a definite structure of the cell. Cell wall composition varies depending on the organism. In plant, the cell wall is composed mainly of strong fiber of carbohydrate polymer cellulose. Means plant cells, cell wall is made up of cellulose. One more question may also come. In bacterial cells, cells are composed of sugar and amino acids, polymer called the peptidoglycan. The main component of fungal cell wall is cytin, glucans, and proteins. And this is the structure of a cell wall. Then next question, distinguish between the following. Some distinguish you will definitely get in your question paper. First is simple tissue and compound tissue. So these are the difference of simple tissue and compound tissue. Simple tissue consists of only one type of cell. Complex tissue are made up of more than one type of cell. The cells of simple tissue perform similar function. The cells of complex tissue may perform the different functions. Example of simple tissues are colon gamma, parent gamma, whereas example of complex tissues are xylem and phloem.
Then micronutrient and macronutrient, continuously repeated in 21 and 20. Micronutrients are required in small quantities, whereas macronutrients are required in large quantity. They are present in low concentration in plant. They are present in excessive concentration in plant. They are also called the trace elements. They are also called the major elements. Example is Fe, Mn, copper, zinc, etc. Here, example is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, etc. All micronutrients are mineral. Measure of my macronutrients are non minerals. They can be toxic for the plant if present excess in cell than the required quantity. They usually not toxic to the cell if they are present in a relatively higher concentration than the normal level. Next, cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation, which are the part of light reaction. So continuously come in 21 and 22 in question paper, you just get the question like that also. Explain the cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation or explain the whole process of light reaction. Then also you just combine these two. And if it comes as differences, then you just write like this. Cyclic photophosphorylation, only photosystem one is involved. Here, photosystem both one and two are involved. No photolysis of water takes place. Photolysis of water takes place. Oxygen not evolved. Oxygen evolved. NADPH plus H positive is not synthesized, whereas here synthesized. Electron is cycled back to the reaction center, where in non-cyclic electron does not return back to the reaction center. Next, stroma and thylakoid. Thylakoid is a numerous organelles present in the chloroplast, whereas stroma is the cytoplasm of the chloroplast. Next, thylakoid provides necessary factor and condition to initiate the light-dependent reaction on photosynthesis. It means in thylakoid, the light reaction takes place. And the light-dependent, independent reaction photosynthesis takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. It means dark reaction takes place in the stroma. <coughs> Sorry. Next, light reaction and dark reaction differentiation. Light reaction is the first phase of photosynthesis, whereas dark reaction is the second phase of photosynthesis. Light reaction of photosynthesis occurs in grana, whereas dark reaction takes place in stroma. Light reaction is a photochemical phase of photosynthesis, whereas dark reaction is a biochemical phase of photosynthesis. Photochemical means light is involved. That's why it is called photochemical. There are photolysis of water during the light reaction, photolysis of water means breakdown of water. There is no photolysis of water during the dark reaction. There is no fixation of carbon dioxide. Here, carbon dioxide fixation takes place. Light reaction release oxygen, dark reaction utilize carbon dioxide. Light reaction involves cyclic and non-cyclic photophosphorylation, whereas dark reaction involves Calvin cycle or C4 pathway or CAM. Next, the end product of light reaction are ATP and NADP. H2, which are used in the dark reaction, and the end product of dark reaction is ADP, NADP, and glucose. Next question, what do you mean by the plant growth regulator and mention four roles of auxin? Completely, means continuously replicated in 20 and 21. Plant growth regulators refers to a neutral or synthetic sustain influence the growth and development. And in another term, you can use the plant hormone in place of this. Means plant regulator are the plant hormone. So if question comes, what is plant hormone? Then also answer will be same. The function of auxins are stimulate the cell division, stimulate the cell elongation, promote the apical dominance, develop advantageous root, and stimulate the development of fruit. Next, sorry, spelling mistake here should be N. So explain Calvin cycle. It repeats, it last came in 2021 and carrying five marks. In the question paper, in last two, three, last two or three questions, you will get five mark question, which will carry means five mark. When the reaction of photosynthesis does not require light energy, it is called light independent or dark reaction. It is also called as biosynthetic phase. So dark reaction, light independent reaction, or biosynthetic three phases term is used for dark reaction. So don't confuse or Calvin cycle. It occur in the stroma of the chloroplast. And there are three steps in the Calvin cycle. That our first one is carbon fixation. A carbon dioxide molecule combined with the five carbon acceptor molecule, ribulose one five biphosphate means RUBP. And this step make an unstable six carbon compound that split into two molecules of three carbon compound, three phosphoglyceric acid. In short form, you can write three PZA. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme RUBP carboxylase or Rubisco enzyme.
Next, reduction reaction. In the second stage, ATP and NNDP H are used to convert the 3 PGA molecule into molecule of a 3 carbon sugar glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, G3P in short form. Regeneration. Two molecules of Z3P go back to glucose means an other, while others must recycle to generate the REBP acceptor and regeneration requires the ATP. This is the reaction diagram. So first is carboxylation step, second is reduction, third one is regeneration. In carboxylation, unstable product is formed first a six carbon compound, then it's split into three phosphoglyceric acid, then this three phosphoglyceric acid undergo reduction reaction, and as a result, it form a glyceraldehyde three phosphate, and from this 12 molecule of 12 number of glycerol had three phosphate, two molecule go, uh, it from the triose phosphate, and then it is used in the formation of sugar, and other 10 molecule of glycerol had three phosphate undergo the regeneration, and finally, it again form the uh, ribulose 15 biphosphate. So this is called Calvin cycle. Next, what is Krebs cycle? Let's get the different stages of Krebs cycle, repeated continuously 20 and 21. So this time also, this is very important. The Krebs cycle, also known as citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle, it is a series of chemical reactions to release stored energy through the oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A derived from carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. This total Krebs cycle has total eight number of steps. First step is acetyl coenzyme A joined with oxaloacetic acid to form the citrate molecule. Next, citrate is converted to isocitrate. Third is isocitrate is oxidized to alpha ketoglutarate, which results in release of the carbon dioxide. Fourth step, alpha ketoglutarate is oxidized to a four carbon compound, succinyl coenzyme A. Next, succinyl coenzyme A is converted to succinate, and then succinate is converted to fumarate. Then fumarate is converted to malate, and finally malate is converted to oxaloacetate. So if you uh, find to remember all the step, you just remember the main main name. Suppose oxaloacetate, malate, fumarate. So then you can just like in simple way, or you can draw in graphite also. Next, what is lichen? Write the economical and ecological importance of lichen. A complex life form that is a symbiotic partnership between the separate organism fungus and alga. Means when an algae and fungi combine, they form a combined they form a particular organism which is known as lichen. Economic importance of lichen is as follows: they are they are a good pollution indicator. They don't grow in polluted areas. They grow on rocks and release some chemicals that can degenerate rocks and this result in the rock weathering. So these are the important questions for your upcoming uh, means biology exam. Okay, student, then go through the questions and all the best for your coming exam. Thank you.